that would fit with this scheme right now. Making Barkley throw a lot of punches. None landing a three punch combination. Closing the left eye of Iran Barkley. It is really starting to close. None with his hands at his waist. Landing the jab against Barkley. But right now, none is in control of this bout. And he lands a good right hook. And that will become a big weapon as that eye closes of Barkley. Left by none. None is not getting hit with anything. Iran Barkley is missing 80 to 90 percent of his punches. That right got in by Barkley. None mugs to show him it didn't hurt. Pushes his left hand out there. Barkley misses with about four punches. Well, it's a boxing lesson right now by none. And if past history tells us anything, it may become more so as Barkley tires. Uppercut by none. He takes a right by Barkley. Big left uppercut by Bark by Michael Nunn. That'll do it for the eighth, a round of which Nunn dominated with his hand speed. We're heading into the ninth round. In the seventh and eighth, Michael Nunn enjoyed big edges. He walks away from Barkley, trying to make him play his game. Nunn, the 26-year-old undefeated IBF middleweight champion. He is 33-0 against Iran Barkley, former WBC middleweight title holder. Came in at 25 and 5. Michael Nunn has a streak on the line. He has knocked out his last five opponents. And since the beginning of 87, has had 13 fights. 11 have ended by knockout. Right now, Iran Barkley looking to close that streak out, and he'd like to also get himself a win. Right now, here in the ninth round, I have to believe that Barkley is way behind. Although, you never know. I remind you that the judges in this match, Glenn Hamada from Washington, Art Lurie from Las Vegas, and Keith McDonald from Carson City. They're the men who will make the ultimate decision. Barkley lost a very tough decision to Roberto Duran his last time out, one that many believe he might have won. Switching to righty. Halfway through the ninth round. This one less action than the previous round. Elbow. Good eye, man. Right hand Good eye, man. By Barkley. None has done very little punching in this round. You get the feeling he wants to turn it on now, and he does with some jabs. But Nunn has basically taken this round off. As he feels he can afford to do that. Mark is still winging. They want Nunn to turn it on now with less than a minute left to go in the round. He does that with a jab. So Michael Nunn, the man who is hunting the legends, Leonard Duran Hearns for Mega Fight, spending his evening here outboxing Iran Barkley. But so far in these later rounds, he's had a tough time hurting Barkley. Barkley going to the, or Iran going to the body as is Nunn. There's the hook by Nunn and the uppercut. Barkley slipping that uppercut by Nunn. That left hook by Barkley nearly got Carlos Padilla. The round ends. Some stairs between these two men. Again, some more action after the bell. We've had that throughout this bout. There's a man that uh, screaming some encouragement to his friend. That Mr. T. I, I doubt that I need to identify him, but that's who he is. Michael Nunn's buddy. Accompanies him to every fight, and uh, it's a 
misnomer to think that Michael Nunn is a fancy Dan boxer who doesn't dig into the trenches. He's one of the roughest fighters around and has been known to bend the rules on occasion. He's a rough man in there. He puts his hand out. Barkley doesn't touch him, instead he's looking to punch him. We are into round 10. It's scheduled for 12. Many believed it would be over one way or the other prior to this. If they believed in Barkley's punching power, they thought he would get him out. Or if you believed that none would dazzle Barkley, either cut him or hurt him, you thought it would be early, out early. I have Michael Nunn way ahead. There might be a round or two I would give Tyran Barkley, but beyond that, I think Michael Nunn has dominated in terms of scoring. Good, Iran. Round, a round in which Barkley did well early, but Nunn did come back. They yell from Nunn's corner to punch more, and that's probably good advice because uh, you never know. Barkley doing most of the punching here, but not landing. Barkley, as I mentioned, did fade against Roberto Duran in his last outing after he'd won most of the early rounds, at least in uh, my scorecard, though the judges didn't totally agree with that. In this bout, he is continuing to come forward and throw punches. Dan's getting a little restless because none has not done much in this round. None against the ropes. I'm sure he feels this is letting Barkley just shoot his load here, and then he'll come on. Nunn looks almost bored. He's talking to Barkley, talking to Carlos Padilla. I could use somebody down here to do commentary with me. Maybe he'd like to speak into the microphone. There you see Nunn talking to his corner while he's in the middle of an exchange with Barkley, saying, I'm going to come on now. And he does. That's, that's interesting. Whatever you think of Michael Nunn, that's an extraordinary demonstration. And then he nails Barkley with six or seven excellent shots. Barkley's smiling, but Nunn is landing. Barkley isn't. Well, I ran Barkley as tough as nails and has one of the best chins you'll ever see. Smiles at Nunn again, but nothing else is happening for him. None probably has stolen back with a good group of combinations here toward the end of the round. Barkley got him in a headlock again. None hits him on the back of the head and says, get off of me. Again, after the round, things get wilder. swell on the eye of Iran Barkley and it's needed that left eye is closing and closing badly and back with the left hook. now what did I say mm -hmm. put them together and don't hesitate Come on. Eddie Aliano working in the corner of Iran Barkley he's one of the best cut men in the business there's Roberto Duran you saw him in the exhibition earlier tonight he thought Barkley would win this match so far he uh, like most great champions, doesn't seem to be a great uh, prognosticator because Barkley would appear, anyway, to be way behind. Duran, the last man, of course, to fight Iran Barkley, beating him in that close decision for the WBC title. We're in round 11. It's scheduled for 12. Unless I am very wrong, and I have been in the past, Iran Barkley would need a knockout to beat Michael Nunn. Nunn has primarily won these, most of these rounds by boxing, which he's doing right here. 